On today's Try to Finish Something, I've got a change of plans. I had a project I was going to work on, but I went and looked at my wood glue, and I've got one of these big gallon containers, and it's thick and goopy and going bad fast. It's about the consistency of toothpaste, and if I don't use it now, it's going to be good for nothing other than an anchor for my paddle boat in the pond. So I've got a project that I want to use this glue for, and it involves my office door and some Halloween props. I have a feeling this could be a two-parter, but Star Warsing up my office door, that's what I'm gonna do on today's Try to Finish Something. So this is my current boring door to my office, and it's about to become a bounty frozen in carbonite. I bought this half mannequin clothes hanger that I'm going to use for the torso shape on Amazon, and I already have a mannequin hand that I'm going to use and a rubber Halloween mask ooh, and some goggles. First, to cut the torso so that it's angled and looks more, ah, I'm being frozen in carbonite. If I angle one side, it'll look more like it's half submerged in the carbonite. And then I'm going to screw the back of the mask straight into the door. and then just stuff the mask with whatever I have lying around to give it a little more shape. I will then take a few wooden scrap blocks and screw those into the door and use those to then screw the mannequin torso into so that I can secure everything in place. And remember, none of this has to be perfect because my bounty is still naked. I grabbed these clothes from Goodwill because I, I really like the textures on the material and I, I think they'll look good once they're painted up. Is it just me or does this look like some sort of Fox special for alien autopsies? I'm gonna just hot glue some of the material in place just to hold it down and use some screws here and there just to keep everything all in one place. Now to drill a spot for the post on the hand to mount the hand to the door. Ooh, and it needs a little bit of the sleeve part. Now to drag the door inside and give him some pants. I can't have a pantless bounty unless that's what his bounty puck was for. You know, indecent exposure in the outer rim. Now to use some of this almost full gallon of really goopy wood glue that forced my hand in this project in the first place. Now, the wood glue isn't 100% dry, but yeah, I'm impatient. I'm gonna texture the door so it doesn't look as much like that fake wood using wall compound. I had taped off the edges because I think I'm gonna add a frame around this and maybe some greeblies and electronics at some point. So now I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this wall texture just to add some drips and to break up the overall smoothness of it. I 
I should probably wait a few more hours, but again, I'm impatient. I'm just gonna hit the whole thing with a can of flat black spray paint, just so that when I paint this, I know that the base color is all the same. So I'm gonna brush on a bit of flat black and crap. I was planning on painting this using flat black latex, but I painted it with enamel. This won't affect anything with the overall project except dry time because this paint is oil-based and I'm trying to do this quickly. Remember, I'm impatient, so now I have to wait. This, this is going to have to be dry enough. I've got things to finish. First, I'm gonna dry brush it with a dark gray. Then I'll do some more highlights with a lighter gray dry brushing again. All right, a couple spots I might have done too much. I'm gonna to tone some of it back down with the black. And I'm gonna take a paintbrush with a really light gray and hit some bright spots. All right, let's rehang this door. The paint is still a bit wet, and I'm gonna wanna add some electronics and some sort of a frame, but paint and assembly of this carbonized Bounty Hunter office door is finished. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and tell a friend. If you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself, and we'll see you next time as we try to finish something.